Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new object selection tool, which makes selections really easy in Photoshop. But first, I am going to show you where to find the new object selection tool as it may be hidden. The keyboard shortcut for the new object select tool is W which means it should be located with the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool, which also have the keyboard shortcut of W. But as you can see, the object select tool is not here. To locate the new object selection tool, look for these three little dots in the toolbar. These are where the extra tools are. It's also what you will use if you ever want to customize this toolbar. But what you do is just press and hold on the three little dots and then you will see all these extra tools. And there is the object selection tool at the bottom but we want to bring it in with the other tools. So we're going to click on edit toolbar and the left column here where it says toolbar. These are all the tools that are currently visible on the toolbar in the right column extra tools. These are all the tools that are hidden under that menu with the three dots. And if you look at the very bottom, there is our object selection tool and you will see the keyboard shortcut is W. So we want to group those with the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. All you need to do is just click on it and drag it into that box I'm going to click done. And now when I go back to this tool, you'll see here, there's the quick selection tool, magic wand, and there's our object selection tool. And a bonus tip, when tools have the same keyboard shortcut, all you need to do is press the shift key to toggle between them. So you just do shift W, we'll go to the quick selection tool, shift W again, we'll go to the magic wand tool, Shift W again, we'll go to the new object select tool. To use the new object selection tool in Photoshop CC 2020, you're going to select it over here in the toolbar. Then you want to select the mode. You have two options. You can choose rectangle if it's an easy selection, such as with this photo, or use lasso if you really want to fine tune the selection. I'm just going to select rectangle in this case. With rectangle selected, I'm just going to draw a loose selection around myself. And as soon as I let go, like magic, it is going to create a really good selection around me. There you have it. <laughs> really good job. And if it's not perfect, you can always modify the selection. You can press the shift key if you want to add to the selection. Hold the option key to subtract from the selection. And when you're happy with your selection, you're just going to come over here, create a mask, and boom. Just like that, I have a really good selection and I did very little in the process. So I'll do one more example just so you can see how the tool works. I'm going to select the object selection tool over here in the toolbar. I'm going to select the mode. For this one, I'm going to select lasso. Make sure you have the layer selected that you want to make the selection on. I'm just going to draw a loose selection around this elephant. The tool is going to know exactly what I want to select, so it does not have to be very tight. And if you want to add another selection, just hold the shift key and you can add to the selection. So I can drag one around this one. This one's not going to be perfect because there's an elephant behind it, but I'm just going to give you a general idea how this works. You can always go in and fine tune the mask, but now I have two selections. When I'm ready, I'm just going to press on the add layer mask and boom, I've got these masked in. You can actually go into the properties for the layer mask if you want to add a feather and soften it up. So that is a quick look at the new object selection tool, which makes selections in Photoshop really easy. Give it a try the next time you need to make a complex selection and you might be surprised. Of course, you're going to have to go in after the fact and kind of clean things up. You can go into the layer mask, add or take things away. But as a good starting point, the new object selection tool will make selections very easy for you. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in Photoshop CC 2020. Cheers.